Alright, so now we're going to be talking about the advanced mechanics to Snowball. Now, Snowball, just like Shards, there's a lot of things to do with it, a lot of ways to play it out, um, a lot of interactions, there's so many heroes, so many spells, so you can imagine the amount of um, possibility there. So we're going to go over some of the things that you should be looking for uh, with the Snowball, and some of the most advanced things with Snowball. So the first thing we're going to talk about is one of the most simplest ways to dodge. An easy thing to dodge would be a projectile stun. So Venge's projectile stun, it doesn't, it's not really uh, too fast of missile speed. So it's very, very easy to anticipate, very, very easy to dodge. So in this case, you'd see the Venge, I would pay attention to the cast animation. Looks like they're going to commit it through, so then I go for the snowball. Now, a better player might pump fake the Q a few times, and obviously would wait for you to, you know, use your snowball, and then catch you out on it. So it's kind of up to you to understand that when it's going to be casted and know the missile speed coming towards you and that way you could successfully dodge it. Now another accountable factor that you should guys should be paying attention to is that there is a cast animation with Snowball even though it doesn't really look like it and there is a turn rate effect to it. So Kunkka, you're able to cast without you know looking in any direction. For Tusk, you have to actually face the direction. So you have to know that if you're being chased you have to compensate for being able to turn around and then cast it. So here, let's see how it looks. You see, if I didn't already anticipate the turn around there, it might have been a little too late. Now, if you're being chased and you're not compensating for the turn animation, you could be caught off guard and you might not successfully be able to get it off. So you see, I only got a half turn in there because I wasn't able to anticipate it fully and I wasn't able to make a full turn. So another way to use Snowball to effectively, you know, save your teammates is you're actually able to bring your teammates in with you. So on top of anticipating um, you know, what enemies and what their engagements are like on the enemy team. So in this case, we're going to be using the example of Axe. Let's say it's like about a mid-game scenario. Axe has a blink at this time. You also have a blink. And this is a way you're able to actually disengage something like an Axe. So you would blink in. I would Snowball. And I would grab my teammate. Now what I usually like to do unless, you know, I guess it's kind of situational, but holding the snowball is kind of um, per situation. So sometimes you're going to want to instantly save your teammate, get the stun off, and then, you know, run away because there's other things happening. Sometimes you're going to want to snowball and actually hold for the full duration. Maybe try to get your invoker blink dagger or get some of his uh, spells off cooldown for a little bit longer. It just basically depends on the scenario at a hand. Another way you could use Snowball is to save yourself. That's by also dodging abilities that are not just projectile, but casted close to you, or like AoE abilities. So another use of dodging the Berserker Call would be to actually dodge when it taunts. So I'm actually going and the axe was to call and blink me. You're able to successfully dodge the call in the Snowball, giving you time to get away. Another really cool matchup with uh, Snowball would be Kunkka. He has a lot of setup, and I think it kind of goes both ways. Who can pretty much outplay who? Um, and what I mean by that is, if I was to be X by Kunkka here, and he, I'm waiting for him to follow up a torrent, I'm only going to commit to it when he commits his mana. When he commits his mana, that's when I should be snowballing to him, because that's when I know that there's actually a CC happening. Now what can happen alternatively is he X me and doesn't cast torrent, and if he doesn't cast it, then I'm able to walk away home free. Now, if I prematurely use Snowball, he's able to just cast Torrent on top of himself, and then I'd be getting blown right after that. So things that have higher projectile speed are obviously going to be harder to dodge. Even if you have a larger distance, it might still be equally as hard. So here's an example of dodging something that has a higher projectile speed. So understanding how to maximize Snowball comes with, like I said, a lot of experience. That's kind of how this hero goes and understanding how matchups go. So Luna is something that Tusk really, really loves to play against. And the reason for that is the abilities are really able to be dodged easily. And an example of this was if my invoker was getting eclipsed here, I'd be able to successfully go blink and disengage. Now, obviously, as you know, levels get higher and higher in Luna, there's going to be more loosened beams. But for the most part, if you had a lot of units here, it's going to dodge a few of the beams and it's going to be able to split up the damage better.
So one of the ultimate abilities that's actually able to be dodged with Tusk, or uh, masked rather with Tusk, is um, Duel. Now this doesn't work for all abilities, but this is one of the ultimate abilities that Snowball is really effective against. So if the Legion goes ahead and duels my PA, I'm able to Snowball, and even though the duel will still be going on, it'll pretty much drain a lot of the time of the duel, hopefully saving your teammate. For example, an ultimate ability that would not work is lasso so if he lassos i'm actually not able to steal my ally into the snowball so he's just freely able to drag him away another example of an aoe dodge could be magnus's rp now if you're able to obviously successfully dodge something like this it could be very very game changing so let's say you're gonna see the magnus go and try to rp your core or you see him off in the distance looking to set up his blink you kind of have a general idea of where he's going to blink an RP. You could rather meet him there and try to dodge the RP with Snowball, or you could blink in after and try to disengage your heroes out with Snowball. So here's an example of dodging it. So another really cool way that you guys could use Snowball is um, you're actually able to grab units through Disruptor Static Storm combo, effectively saving him from the ultimate ability. The only thing is you have to be positioned for it and on top of that you need to have a target, a snowball target that's going to be able to not only bring you through the static storm but end you on the other side of the kinetic field because if the disruptor is choked up close to the kinetic field you're just going to end up bringing yourself in there. So you have to click a target that's relatively further away from the actual combo itself. So if the situation played out this is how it would look. My PA is running away, the disruptor will go for the glimpse, sets up the combo. And me, I go for the snowball, bring him through, and end up on the other side. Now this could be a lot more hectic in teamfight situations, but if you're able to, you know, like I said, with time and experience, you're able to anticipate things like this, set yourself up correctly, and execute it correctly. So another example of how to use snowball to uh, save from Disruptor is you're actually able to pull your hero in the glimpse, effectively saving him from the glimpse. So my PA is going to get gone on here, I'm walking to him, the glimpse goes out, I go ahead and grab the snowball, and once it fully completes, he's no longer able to be teleported there. But if I do finish the snowball early, before it actually goes back to the point, he will still be relocated to that area. So another way you're able to use snowball effectively would be to actually taking people out of the cast animations. So for example, if there's a Pudge on the enemy team and he's dismembering my PA, I'll actually be able to just snowball and then right click him in the snowball and that would effectively cancel the channeling animation it would completely cancel the ultimate without me actually having to commit the sun another way this is kind of applied is rubik when rubik lifts i'm actually able to snowball and then effectively grab my pa out of the spell so this is how it kind of looks he goes for it and i grab him for it and it takes him out of the lift entirely now how this might play out in a negative way is it kind of um, fast forwards Rubik's ability. So usually you have to wait for the enemy to land on the ground before the stun is activated. But in this case, if he's lifted and I grab him, it counts as him automatically being dropped. So the heroes around me will be stunned. So that's just a little thing to keep in mind. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to place them down below and I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to them.